Okay. Okay. Hello, my name is Bastian Hilscher from University Duisburg Essen. On the top you see the title of my poster and I want to talk about two different topics. The first one is adiabatic pumping through quantum dot Arnold Bohm interferometers. And okay, something went wrong with this PowerPoint file. The second topic is uh, quantum dot Arnold Bohm interferometers with one ferromagnetic lead. Let me first tell you something about uh, adiabatic pumping. Adiabatic pumping is a transport mechanism without applied bias voltage. Charges transferred due to time dependence of two pumping parameters, here den denoted by x1 and x2. And of course, in one period, the charge Q, uh, which is pumped, is the integral over the average current uh, of the average current over one uh, period. We are considering two different systems. The first one is a Aronoff Bohm interferometer where a quantum dot is embedded in the lower arm. Here we have the time dependent parameters epsilon, which is the mean dot level, and gamma L, which is the tunnel coupling strength between the left lead and the quantum dot. Um, we find that adiabatic pumping is phase coherent on the one hand and peristaltic on the other hand. What we exactly mean by that, I can tell you if you come to my poster. The second system we are considering is a, a Arnoff Bohm interferometer where a quantum dot is embedded in each of the two arms. Here our time dependent parameters are the two uh, mean dot levels, epsilon 1 and, uh, and epsilon 2. In that case, pumping is not peristaltic, but a pure quantum mechanical effect only relying on interference. Okay, that's all what I wanted to say about adiabatic pumping. Let me now tell you a little bit about uh, a quantum dot Arnoff Bohm interferometer with a ferromagnetic lead. And let me first motivate that. Okay, as probably most or maybe all of you know, is that uh, transport through quantum dots is at least partially coherent. One mechanism, uh, one mechanism yielding dephasing is a spin flip. So you see that spin, uh, that the spin plays an important role for coherence. And so we ask the question, uh, what is the influence of polarization on, trans uh, on transport? And I hope uh, the answer is on my poster and I thank you for your attention.